So here I am in beautiful Polina Lake Lodge in Oregon, Central Oregon. I'm here with my family, getting a nice little bit of relaxation time, a much needed vacation, a much needed break. I've been checking out and digesting two fragrances from Dossier. I partnered up with them. Again, they sent me these two fragrances. We have Spicy Vanilla, an inspiration of Tom Ford's Noir, and we have Citrus Tea, an inspiration of Le Labo's Te Noir 29. I'm gonna tell you guys what I think about these two, and I'm even gonna compare one of them to one of the originals, and I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. So, if you're interested, stick around. Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide for drinking well, stinking pretty, focusing once again on dossier fragrances, bringing to you guys some very interesting, very less expensive inspirations of some originals. We'll get all the disclaimer stuff out in front right away. Uh, please, if you're new to my channel, stick around to the end if you like. Hit that subscribe button. Got a Kofi account, all that jazz. Check it out in the description down below. Hit the thumbs up for the like. Uh, also, just reminding you guys that they did send me these for free. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this review. I am not getting uh, reimbursed whatsoever, no monetization, but they did give me those bottles for free to check out. And I'm going to give you a 100% honest opinion of mine about these regardless. So as a quick refresher, Dossier is a inspiration brand. They offer very natural, uh, cruelty-free, earth-friendly fragrances, recyclable materials in their shipping, in their packaging, simplistic bottles, but with a lot of class, got a nice magnetic cap, 50 ml, ranging from $29.95 to $39.95, depending on the fragrance itself. So with all that out of the way, let's talk about the first one that um, I wanna talk to you guys about, and that is Spicy Vanilla. This is an inspiration of Tom Ford's Noir. Now, I don't have uh, an original Tom Ford's Noir to do a comparison with. I do have um, the small travel bottle of the Noir Extreme. As I'm sure most of you know, but for some of you that do not, Noir and Noir Extreme are quite different. Sometimes when they do an extreme flanker to a fragrance, it can be as simple as upping the, uh, the concentration all the way to changing the notes, changing the uh, elements, focusing on something else or bringing back something else so that other notes can shine. Anyway, like I said, I don't have the original to compare, but uh, I did kind of test it against the Noir Extreme just to see how similar they may or may not be. Really not similar in my opinion, especially in the opening. There is this kind of uh, gourmand dessert note that is in the extreme. I don't get that out of Spicy Vanilla by Dossier. With Dossier, we're looking at nutmeg, black pepper, lemongrass in the open, rose, patchouli, orris in the mid, vanilla, amber, a papanox in the dry down. So I will say this about Spicy Vanilla. Now, I genuinely did enjoy this fragrance. The opening to me was a little bit sharp with the lemongrass. It kind of is a little bit piercing but you just wait about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes, and that sharp lemongrass bite definitely uh, mellows out, blends itself down with that nutmeg, with that black pepper, giving it a very nice, spicy, vanillic, creamy sense about it. It's definitely leaning a little bit more on the gourmand side. With spicy vanilla, however, I feel like this could be a little bit more well-rounded. I mean, it sounds gourmand, you'd think, oh, we're gonna go right with you know fall winter but i feel like this is something that you can wear in like some cooler summer here at the lake i've actually been wearing this in some of the cooler days in the evenings really fantastic again after that sharpness dries down a little bit blends really well with some patchouli notes oris gives it this kind of creamy soft powdery texture the vanilla ambery notes in this are not super overpowering they're actually nice and just just out in front enough to give it that sweet syrupy feel but not heavy i love the spice in this i love the vanilla in this and that lemongrass accord gives it this nice um, sort of pop uh, sitting at 15 percent fragrance oils concentration a really well lasting fragrance uh right around eight hours to me for me rather obviously wear it on you know some some clothes it's gonna last longer i really feel like this has this lemon custard sense about it like when i have it on that's kind of what 
it gives me the feel of like a lemon vanilla custard dessert. Again, the vanilla is not too overpowering. The lemon's just right once that dry down hits. Really super wearable fragrance. Is it 100% original once the dry hits? Uh, you know, not necessarily in terms of, there are a lot of spicy vanilla fragrances, but I do think that the lemon grass gives it this slight little bit of an edge to lean it away from some of those, um, those more well-known spicy vanilla fragrances that we all love. Uh, again, I can't compare this to the original Tom Ford Noir because I don't have it, uh, but for me, I find this one to be it's a winner. To me, it's a winner. And this particular bottle here, I am going to be giving away at the end of this video. Full details will be at the end. Unfortunately, this will uh, only be available to those in the continental US. Okay, so inspired by Le Labo's Te Noir 29 at a whopping super expensive as hell. I want to say it's 250, uh, I think for their they're a large bottle. I honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but I'll post it on here what the original price is versus the price of Dossier's Citrus Tea. Such a huge price difference. Citrus Tea is sitting at a whopping 25% perfume oils concentration. Honestly, with that amount, I can't believe the um, projection that it gets. It produces quite a beautifully decent sized fragrance cloud. Citrus tea boasts top notes of bergamot, fig, and black tea, middle notes of bay leaf, tobacco, jasmine, vetiver, base notes of cedarwood, musk, hay, peach, and incense. So I have been wearing both of these, uh, comparing them. I have a nice small little decant sampler from the lovely folks at Nordstrom's uh, to test. And right out of the gate, Aside from citrus tea having just a little bit more of a, a fig presence in the opening, these two are dead ringers. 100% to my nose exact, except for that little bit, that little bit of the extra fig in uh, citrus tea. The black tea is beautiful, the fig is beautiful, there is this really dry woodiness. The bay leaf though and the tobacco combination with those elements, those have me hooked on this. I found myself loving this 100%. Like I said, that bay leaf, ugh, I am, there's this thing lately for me and uh, bay fragrances, I don't know what it is, but it blends gorgeously with the tea and the citrus and the fig and the base notes, that, that muskiness. Uh, in the dry down, Te Noir is, I'm gonna say it's like a little bit, just a little bit more well-rounded. Um, it, the edges are a little bit softer. The composition is um, a little bit harder to tell where notes are. It becomes this, you know, it blends. With citrus tea, mind you, it's not that much, but the notes tend to peak out a little bit, which for me is not a terrible thing. I actually really enjoy the fact that it's not 100% so blended that you can't pick out notes because throughout the life of the fragrance, I'm getting different, um, different notes come out at me depending on where I am in my own scent bubble and where I spray. It's gorgeously put together, but also still gives you a sense of where some of those layers are. The dry down, the 100% complete dry down, hits this killer zone where we've got this dry sense of dryness, this dry texture, this kind of soft muskiness, a little bit of woodiness, and like a spicy, fruity tobacco, like a spicy, free, fruity, wet tobacco, pipe tobacco style. And like I said, for me, it is, it is a super winner. I'm excited about citrus tea. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Uh, those are my opinions. So I figured I'd bring in the family and I'd have them give you guys their opinions as well. So I'm gonna put the spray of the original Te Noir on the left and I'm gonna put citrus tea on the right and I'm gonna see what they think, see if they can tell the difference and I'm gonna find out which one of them they like the most. Here we go. Okay, so gonna, like I said before, I'm gonna have the family check these out. I'm just gonna spray them on here in one of the bathrooms in the, the cabin lodge, log cabin thing. Uh, so here we have the original Le Labo Tenoir 29 on my left. So you guys keep track of that on the left hand. We'll put two sprays each and we'll see what they say about what they think smells better. And then we'll do citrus tea from Dossier on my right hand, two sprays. Okay, well, without further ado, here we go. Oh, there's a bucket. There's a half bucket. 
I'm gonna go over first. I'm gonna start with Dana in the kitchen who's uh, making some salad. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so you're gonna smell between the left and the right and tell me which one you think is better. Okay. There's left. That's why I don't like those beds. What? Left, I like left the better? Oil. Left better? Okay. Mr. Williams. So smell the left and then the right and tell me which one you think is better. Left. Left? Okay. Pop? Yeah. Left hand. And then right yeah. hand. Oh, left. Left? Are you doing that just because of peer pressure or? No. <laughs> All right. I, that was a little too much on the right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I now, Atlas. Okay, left hand. Okay, and then now right hand. Left. <laughs> you want left instead of right? You said right last time. Left. Okay. Well, so there you go. The crowd has spoken. Uh, again, for me, I absolutely love it. Looking forward to wearing the hell out of it in the future. As for the giveaway in this video, uh, all you got to do, guys, is drop a comment down below. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit a thumbs up for the like. Tell me in that comment that you want to be uh, entered into the giveaway. After two weeks period, I will uh, do a random number draw or a ram random generator. We'll pick a winner. I will post it and uh, pin it in the top of this video and I'll tag you so that you know that you have won. We can get a hold of each other. I can get your address and I, I can send you this box of spicy vanilla, which I hope you'll love. You know the routine. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up for the like, mash the crap out of the notification bell so you know when I drop future videos. Drop a comment down below. Don't forget to go check out my Kofi account if you guys are feeling generous and you want to help support the channel. All that aside and more importantly, I hope that you guys are having a fabulous week, fabulous weekend. Hope you are taking care of yourselves and each other. No matter what you're doing, no matter where you're going, no matter where you're relaxing, don't forget, keep calm, stink pretty. I'll see you on the next one.